Today we started out in the arena with a game that I will call Territories. Ares has been a little reluctant at being caught. I had heard about a game from my friend Jamie Thomas, where several other people and their horses take up various spaces around the arena, each with a stick or whip. Ares would be loose, and whenever he left me and went towards any of the other horses, he was sent away and hopefully would come back to me. The goal here was to teach Ares that being with me was preferable to being with other horses. Whenever he lagged behind, I would ask him to step up, and if he left, I sent him away, where he would then run into the other horse's territories and be sent back to me. Whenever Ares turned towards me, the other people in the arena let off the pressure, trying to show him that I was the comfort zone. Once Ares started to get the point, I could then do some liberty work with him, trotting alongside him and asking him to come to me. We've never done that before, so it took him a little while to get used to it. Equine body worker Tom Mays was at the ranch seeing some horses, and I asked him to work with Ares. I wanted to make sure Ares didn't have any major misalignments in his vertebrae or spine. I thought maybe that with the roundup and the subsequent events at the corrals, he may have hurt himself in some way. And there was that flying leap he took off the retaining wall behind the round pen. Tom started with Ares' face and corrected some tension in his facial bones and jaw. He then moved back and dealt with various parts of Ares' body. In all, Tom didn't find anything really awfully wrong with him. A couple of adjustments here and there, and Ares was feeling much better. It was nice to see Tom work with Ares. Ares let so few people in, but he clearly liked Tom. I was also pleased to hear that Tom got the same impression about Ares that I have. Ares is very formal with his interactions. He likes to know what to expect and actually does better when you explain things to him before you do them. Ares is also very focused. He likes to have a job and a purpose. Thanks for visiting Tom. See you next time. Today I had a lesson with Lena. I originally wanted to teach Ares how to pony off another horse so we could use that during some of his first rides. Lena said, all right, let's see how he leads and can you touch him while he's walking? Whoops, guess not. I can't stress enough. Even if you think you know how to train a horse, having another set of eyes 
and another set of experiences really is invaluable. So the goal here is to have Aries walk next to me, keeping up with me whether I slow down or speed up, and allow me to touch his neck as we walk. Remember I discussed in a previous episode the importance of doing everything at the halt and while moving? This is why. Aries is totally fine to be pet while he's standing still, but clearly was not prepared for being touched while moving. He's scary. I will be the first to admit it. And it's scary to deliberately frighten him. I know he is going to jump around when I reach out to touch him, but the only way to get him over it is to do it. And he did get over it in one lesson. He's very quick. But that doesn't change the fact that getting him over this stuff is downright scary. I really have to trust him not to run over me when he is panicking. So far, so good. When I asked Aries to slow down here, he was turning his nose in and not slowing down. So to correct him, I blocked his nose and then asked for a halt. Next, Lena wanted to see how Aries' canter was coming along. I've only cantered him free in the round pen to avoid teaching him to pull on the line again. Lena wanted to try cantering him on the line in the big arena first. He cantered once for me, and then Lena took over for a while. She was unable to get Aries to canter very well in the arena. He just really loves to trot, and has such a huge trot that by the time he gets up to speed, he's run out of rope. We quickly scratched the idea of cantering in the arena and moved over to the round pin. By this time, Aries was very sweaty and very tired. I started him off in the round pen and asked him to canter, which he did. We are only asking for a few steps right now. More steps will come later. Aries really likes patterns. As I mentioned earlier, he is quite formal and likes to know what to expect. So today's pattern was send him out, canner, stop, Come into the middle, get some pets, take a couple steps back, and go back out to canner. If you can come up with a repeatable series of steps to teach your horse something new, 
they are likely to learn it faster. Here was something interesting. I'm asking Aries to go back out. He doesn't respond, so I touch his shoulder. He wheels around and kicks. Rather than this being a fear response, I felt it was more of a temper tantrum. He was tired and reacted dramatically. I was willing to let that slide until he did it again. This time I sent him off emphatically. It should be noted that he was fully capable of kicking me both times. He chose not to. Once he came in, I stroked his head and told him I knew he was tired and that we would only canter one more time each direction. He did not kick at me again. It is my opinion that a horse has the right to express their opinion, but they need to do it respectfully. I think trust is maintained when we listen to our horses. If we just blindly tell them what to do with no regard for how they feel, I think trust is lost. I'm not saying it's okay for Aries to kick at me. It most certainly is not. He needs to find another, more respectful way of letting me know how he feels. At the end of the day, I want my horse to be my partner, not my servant. We all have horses for different reasons. I get the most joy when I work with my horse to achieve something. That's where the fun is for me.